Hi everybody, I'm Madison and I am a librarian at the Northbrook Public Library in the Fiction and Media Department and I'm also the library's classical music specialist. You've probably seen me at the concerts and teaching the music appreciation class. I'm really excited to say hi today and I hope you're all well. So I want to cover a few ideas that could help you keep your ears busy while we're in quarantine. So the first one is to stream music and the library has a really great resource called the Naxos Music Library. You can access it through our website by going to download TV Music and Movies Naxos Music Library and then hit get started and put in your library card number and you should be good to go. I've already logged in so I'm going to show you what the home page looks like. It should look like that, a lot of blue. So the first thing you can do, obviously, is listen to music. So you can put anything you want in here. If you like a specific pianist, you can put that in there. If you like a specific conductor, orchestra, even if you just want to listen to all the Beethoven symphonies, you can do that just by typing it into the bar. So I'd like to listen to Beethoven symphony number three. So Beethoven symphony number three and a whole lot of recordings are going to come up. So I'm going to choose the first one. Looks like it's Symphony Nova Scotia. Okay. And I'll simply click that to listen to all the tracks and we're good to go. One of the nice things about Naxos Music Library, it shows you the CD cover. So if you're really familiar with a certain recording, you might be able to find it by looking through there. Okay. So the next idea I have for you all um, is to read sheet music. If you're a musician already, uh, now's a great time to keep up your skills uh, by playing really great sheet music. Um, and if you are a musician, you just want to look at scores while you listen or you're interested in them, this is a really great resource for that. Um, it is called the I, it's called IMSLP, that's the acronym for it, also known as the International Music Score Library Project. So what I'm going to do is type in IMSOP into Google, and this first result is the one I'll want. So this is what the home page looks like. It's a lot like Nexus in that it's very blue. So I can type in any composer into here for the most part and they'll come up. Uh, please keep in mind that IMSOP will only upload scores that are public domain, so you should be safe copyright-wise on this. Um, but this also means that you probably won't be able to get movie music or musicals on here because those are handled by different publishers and rights holding bodies. Great, so Beethoven. And you should be able to find all of Beethoven's music if that's your composer of choice. So, let's talk about an activity, yay! Uh, what I suggest that you do, totally optional, is to find a recording of a piece you really like and then find the score to it. You don't necessarily need to read sheet music like a professional to enjoy looking at it or observing it while you listen to music. Um, for me, it's a lot more like watching a movie or listening to an audiobook um, just because you have something in front of you that you can see and something that you can hear. It's a lot more helpful. I'm going to suggest that you listen to pieces that are about the outdoors because you can't really go outside very much right now. Uh, so I have a few suggestions uh, that I'll name after this, but the first one I'm going to focus on is Beethoven number si Symphony Number no. 6, The Pastoral, since it's about the outdoors. So I'm going to find a recording. Type in Beethoven Symphony Number no. 6. I can scroll down and find a recording that I like or type in a specific one. Today I'm just going to scroll down to one that seems good. Uh, there we go. Click on that box to listen to all of the tracks. And now I'm on Beethoven's page, so I will simply find the S section, Symphony Number no. 6. 
And I'm going to scroll down. So these are just recordings. And now we're on scores. I don't suggest necessarily reading a score unless you're used to it because it's a lot of really fast music reading and a lot of scrolling. Uh, so I'm going to suggest that you download a part. Violin 1 is probably your best bet because they play the most. So I'll go to parts. And they list a bunch of different editions. I personally like Bright Kaufman Hair Tool the best um, on this website in particular. So I'll find Bright Coffin Hair Tool, click on that, and there's Violin 1. And the last thing is on IMSLP, you have to be careful. Don't click this. Wait for these little words. You can see it's counting down. Three, two, one. Click here to continue your download. And there we go. We have the Violin 1 part. So I'll put on the recording, watch this go by. Um, I'm in the position where sometimes I'll play along with it. It really just depends on the day. And that's a really fun thing to do while you're at home, and it can take up a lot of time. I hope you all stay well. Bye.